wanted to see what happens when you shoot a lead block. Now, I don't have a high-powered rifle, but we're going to try it with a BB gun. Lead's an extremely soft metal, so with a fast enough bullet, I think you could get the same result as shooting a clay block. Now, a BB gun's not very powerful, so I'd like someone with a more powerful weapon to try this. So I'm throwing this over to you, Tau Flighter Mouse. Let's see what happens when you shoot a lead block with a high-powered rifle. With my mighty $5 video budget, I was able to make this lead plate. It's got a 7-inch diameter. Thickness is 5 eighths of an inch. Weight is 7.5 pounds. And did you know, a lot of people are like Sheldon Cooper and have no idea when someone is being sarcastic. And today we'll be shooting this plate with a variety of 22 caliber projectiles. The first round is a CCI Mini Mag rated at 1260 feet per second. The next round is a 22 caliber pellet driven by a nail gun blank. Using this combination we can drive that pellet at over 2800 feet per second. Next we have the fancy CCI Stinger with its nickel case and this round has a rated velocity of 1640 feet per second. So which of these rounds will do more damage? And can a lead plate protect you from a 22? Let's find out starting with the mini mag. Oh good. Darren made a nice clean hit hitting it exactly where I told him near the top of the plate. So if you're using this plate as body armor, it would have saved your life. Here we see the detail of the crater it left. Next up is the weird hybrid round using a nail gun blank and a 22 crossman pellet. And these rounds just scream. Go for it. Wow. Going through it. Click on that link if you want to see a really cool ballistic test of these rounds. Okay. Are you ready? Tell it. <laughs> now we never had any problems ourselves shooting these 22 pellets out of a 22, but should you do it? Probably not. Now this little pellet was really moving. In fact, it made a flash when it hit, and I've never seen a normal 22 do that before, but it made less of a crater than the mini mag did. Now we didn't see any material ejecting from the lead plate when it hit, so I'm assuming the pellet just fused itself to our lead block. And finally we have the CCI Stinger. This has a smaller, lighter bullet than a 22 long rifle and a slightly longer case to get that extra speed. Now this round definitely did more damage than the other two rounds. We see a little bit of lead being ejected out of the crater, probably the bullet itself. So essentially this bullet had enough mass and enough speed to create more damage than the other two rounds. But none of the rounds went through the plate. So that plate would have saved your life in all three situations. And that's the back side of the plate, the 22 long rifle, the 22 pellet, and the CCI Stinger. And I want to thank Kevin for supplying that cool intro.